What are we going to talk about today then? A company called IG Farben. Oh, I know a bit about them. Have you heard of them before? Yeah, World War II. I've made some notes here. Notes, not a script. <laughs> right? And um, I was looking them up because again it uh, come up in the fascinating little book I just read called The Gods of Eden. The Gods of Eden by William Bramley. And William Bramley, if you're out there, we'd like to talk to you, so send us a message. Because uh, I've got some interesting stuff I'd like to talk to you that, uh, about what's in your book. Anyway, IG, IG Fabin, they were a chemicals company, you know, mm. in the Second World War. Yes. In Germany yes. or Poland, I think they had uh, warehouses, warehouses, sorry, um, factories. And they used uh, slave labour from yeah. the concentration yeah. camps, which apparently they helped the Germans set up. Where, where did concentration camps come from, though? Well, the British invented uh, concentration camps back in South Africa, didn't they? Oh yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. it's the British that are uh, the masters of uh, the masterminds behind concentration camps. Strangely enough, uh. do you know on the board of uh, I, I. G. Fa Farben, they actually had. Um, I think there may have been twelve m members on the the, the, the directors board. Some of them ended up in the Nuremberg trials. I remember that. Well, four of them were Jewish, and they actually manufactured. The Zyklon B gas used to gas their allegedly, own people. Allegedly. allegedly, gas their own people, which seems a little bit odd. I mean, anybody can check up the information on this about RG Fabin, um, and they made they made sarin gas, which apparently IS bought from whoever last week. I think it was one of the one of the heads of RG Fabin that actually got sent to prison, and then when he came out, he got made the head of the UN. Oh, United Nations. Yeah, yeah. Hey, have you heard who's the new, um, oh, what's it called? Human Rights. Human Rights uh, Committee on the uh, United Nations, which are not united. I have no idea. Saudi Arabia. Well, that would make perfect sense, wouldn't yes, it? Yes, apparently they behead, allegedly, <laughs> more people than the Islamic State do. So, of course, you want to put them in charge of yeah, yeah, human they've, rights. They've got you? such a good human rights uh, record, haven't they? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Maybe the real terrorists might get stoned to death. <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyway, so um, their factory was actually very near the Auschwitz. Depends which way of stoned you're talking about. <laughs> That's quite funny. Maybe they're given some of this special assassin hashish. <laughs> <laughs> no, they had a, a massive factory, chemical factory, next to uh, n nearby uh, Auschwitz. I think Auschwitz was in Germany, wasn't it? Not Poland. Um. And uh, hey, guess what? They got the Nobel Peace Prize for Chemistry in 1931. <laughs> You, 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 you couldn't make it up. Oh, you could. Four you members couldn't. were Jewish, and when they went to the Nuremberg Trials after the, uh, the Second World War, um, they actually got prison sentences, but it was for just a few months. Mm. And then they, afterwards, they were all employed in America one, at the chemical factories. One of them did actually get six years, but only did six months. Yeah, that was it. Something like that. Yeah, yeah you can look this up. Yeah. And, um, yeah, IG Fabian, apparently they were liquidated or sold off. Um, a couple of years ago, and um, you'll never guess who they sold them to. Well, it'd be someone trustworthy and yeah. you know with good human. An explosive company called uh, German uh. explosive company called BASF. Apparently, I their tapes. Yeah, yeah, re-record, not fade away. And um, they actually own boots of uh, Nottingham for a while, which are owned now by a, 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 an American company. I think. They also don't pay tax. No corporations pay tax. Of course, nobody uh, should pay uh, any uh, tax uh, whatsoever. Some corporations do. The corporation of Mark Salon is supposed to pay tax. Oh, okay. The corporation of is supposed to pay tax because they're just a little corporation. If you're a big corporation, you've got billions and billions and billions and billions of pounds, then you obviously you don't need to pay tax. When the government magic and the government and the Bank of England magic money out of complete thin air, huh? why the hell would you want to in the use an extortion in the form of theft called tax uh. which then is used to go and murder men women and children in other countries do you want to do like, some maths do you want to do some maths go on then the total amount what seven times six george benefits paid out by the government last year was three billion pounds yeah, that's not very much the total tax not paid by a Vodafone was four billion pounds. If you can do the maths there, you can probably see we've got some money to play, uh, play with if you do the maths. It's crazy. I don't think anybody should pay tax. Anyway, getting back to uh, IG Farben. They're now owned by 
the um, explosion, explosives manufacturer, they used to be a German explosive manufacturer, BASF, which used to own Boots, which don't own anymore. Bayer, the drug company. Oh, yes. Right. Were, weren't they the ones that were deliberately putting the HIV virus into the vaccines? I believe so. Ah. Don't believe a word I say. Also, ACFA, as in ACFA Films, chemical company, and, um, and Shell Oil. Oh, shock. Who have, um, and uh, I'll tell you who else has got interest in this company Royal now. Royal Dutch Shell Oil. Yes. <coughs> um, General Electric. Ah. GC. <laughs> GC Marconi Limited, that is. And you know what they manufacture? Cameron's new health. Hel uh, the brimstone, brimstone. brimstone missiles yes. at a cost of 175,000 quid per unit. Well, how many thousands of those that they've dropped on the poor people of Syria? Uh, they were only aiming them at the ISIS lot, though. But they funded them in the first place. Oh, of course yeah. they're saving them from. They're saving us from them. Well, why, why did they stop the Russians stopping ISIS? Because they were actually really, seemingly, oh, yes. up. They call them Daesh now. Huh? I've seen. The, I heard the politicians calling calling IS or Islamic State or ISIL Daesh. And apparently, if you look this up, it means the Arabic words for what they don't like, what they stand for. Islamic State of Iraq and a sham, and it is a sham. <laughs> and um, yeah, anyway, uh, General Electric, uh, GC Marconi, who um, based out of um, Virginia in America, ah. uh, and um, others, um, they have uh, interest as well as um, large banks. So it really does seem like that company, who were Jewish run and owned, who murdered Jewish people? Mm. Thou shall not kill. Remember, doesn't say thou shall not murder. Ah, but they weren't just they weren't Jews as such. They were Azakanazi Jews. Are you swearing at me? Yeah, it's, it's, it could be. Yeah, seriously, you couldn't make this up. No. Could you? No. Absolutely unreal. So. Um, oh, we've tried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you just do it too easy for us. Global Prize in, chemi in chemistry. Still, Obama got the Nobel Peace Prize, didn't he? For the, what? For torturing people in Guantanamo oh, Bay. Oh, well, that would make sense then. By the way, it came out in the news a couple of days ago that um, uh, the Pentagon have stepped in to stop Guantanamo Bay from being closed down. <laughs> Debt Free TV, in association with getoutofdebtfree.org.